All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking uh, Tesla Model Y versus Tesla Model X, and I want to go through this kind of analysis and give you some uh, information if you're shopping for both a like a new Tesla, a Model X versus a Model Y. Now I've owned the Model X and I'm currently own the Model Y, so I feel I can kind of at least give you some insights from my experience. Now, I'm not, am I an expert? No, but I've owned both. I've owned this Y for uh, I think it's been over three months now. I owned the X for about nine months before I sold it to buy this car. And I want to tell you kind of why I think the Y for me, for my situation, is kind of a better deal. Now the comparison I want to give here is buying an older Tesla Model X. Model X came out in 2016 and there was like there's five different trim levels, the 60D, 75D, 90D, P90D, P100D. There's different trims like when it first came out for the first couple years. Now it's just like long range or plaid. For like 2019, 20, 21, it was like long range or performance. So that there's there's been some different variants available. But what I want to what I want to compare it to. So I owned a 2016 Model X 90D. I bought it used with like 75,000 miles on it. Uh, I bought it from like the second owner, and it turned out it actually had a Tesla a Tesla like extended warranty for a year, which the 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 owner that I bought it from he didn't even know it had that. So that was pretty cool. It had a warranty coverage and we actually used the warranty quite a bit so it was a 75,000 mile car this was in 2021 it was a 2016 car so it was like a five-year-old car and we really enjoyed it we had a model s at the time so we were kind of used to teslas and we bought it thinking like okay it's my wife's car she's going to drive it around she's going to enjoy it and she really did she really loved it when i told her i want to sell it to buy the model y she was like oh no i don't want to get rid of the, the the model x because she really liked it well, here was the thinking. Then the, the, this Model Y that I'm driving right now, this is in 2022. I ordered it in 2021. My out the door price for this car. Now it changes always. These these prices on these cars change always. But this the out the door price for this brand new long range Model Y seven seater that I have that I'm driving right now. I paid sixty seven thousand. I don't know four hundred or nine hundred dollars. Sixty seven thousand. Let's just call it sixty seven thousand four hundred dollars is what I paid for this out the door. Okay. Now I sold my 2016 Model X 90D. I sold that in December of 2021. I owned it. I bought it in the first of 2021. I sold it at the end of uh, de de December 2021. So I didn't even own it a whole year. I owed it nine months. But the reason I, I sold it is because I got top dollar for it because of the gas prices had spiked. So it's kind of like a perfect storm for. Tesla prices and I can basically sell I can buy a new Y for the same price as I sold my old X for you know um, I'm like I'm gonna do that here's why here are some of the reasons why I think that Model Y is a better car than the Model X now I'm talking a, a used Model X because if you're looking at a Y you might also be looking at a used Model X used Model X a 2016 or 17 right now is probably going for like high 50s to low 70s and depending on the variant, the trim, you know, there's probably a pretty a big range, and that could change based on how the car environment is going to continue to go. But it's almost a similar price as this car. So I think that a, a, an older Model X and a brand new Model Y long range are kind of in the same category price-wise. So if we're looking at like apples to apples comparison, they can be pretty close in price. And I want to tell you why an older Model X isn't the best deal the new model y is a better deal now i do want to say this that the model x is a little bit bigger than the y as far as the length it's almost about a foot longer it's got uh, more cargo it's got a little more cargo area it's got a little more uh, the seating area is a little more uh, increased you know it does have it is a little bit wider of a vehicle so you do have a little bit more space overall in the model x however the third row seating isn't a whole lot better than the than the Y. The Y does have the third row option is very small, but the X is also small. So it's not like the X is a, is, is a huge difference. It does have the Falcon doors that makes getting into the third row a little bit easier than than the Y. I will I will give the X that. But that's really that's probably the only area where it edges it out and that is just being a little bit bigger of a vehicle. The Y still has really good storage area. It's got, you know, it's got the front trunk, you got the rear trunk, you got the storage underneath the trunk in the back. 
and foot room, knee room, you know, you can fit five passengers in both vehicles pretty comfortably and if you're carrying luggage. So I think the X slightly edges out the Y in that regard. But the Model X, this two, like a 2016 or 17 Model X, it's going to feel older and more outdated. It's got the screen gauge here. It's got the older touch screen in the middle. Um, the one I had didn't have rear heated seats. It didn't have cooled seats. It didn't have a heated steering wheel. So that was kind of a bummer. Whereas my base Model Y long range has all that. And that was that's kind of an advantage there. The Sub-Zero or Winter package to be able to get that in the Model X back in 2016 or 17. Now here's something that you're not really going to find out unless you own both, and that is just the mod my Model X had the the 22 inch wheels, which actually they look awesome. They're like those turbine looking wheels, 22 inch wheels. They have low profile tires. It's a very very heavy wheel and tire setup. It's also a bigger vehicle. It's got a bigger battery. It's got a bigger vehicle. It's heavier, and so the efficiency is a lot less. That car when when it was new, it was about it charged up to about 250 miles when it was new. When I got it with about 75,000 miles on it, it would only charge up to 220 miles. So it lost some efficiency, so you're going to lose some range by buying a used one. And then that Model X, just the efficient, if you have those bigger 22 inch wheels, yeah, they look awesome, but the efficiency is just bad on those. It's it's going to be hard. You, you're not going to get 220 miles of range out of that out of that that bat that 90 kilowatt battery in the Model X. It was like 170 maybe on a road trip, and so it was just it just didn't have the efficiency because it's heavier, less efficient than the Model Y. It just couldn't go as far. And here's another thing: the older Teslas, like the the older Model Xs, they charge at a slower rate. Mine charged at 78 kilowatts per hour on the charging speed. So even though Tesla has these new 250 kilowatt chargers like the model y can charge on when you go to a supercharger you're going to charge a lot lot slower on those efficiency is worse the range is worse charging speeds are worse as well now concerning the screen on the model x the model x has that screen in the front there it's old and outdated if you have a 2016 or 17 you're going to have to upgrade to, to the mcu2 because it it lags it, it's not very responsive. It just needs to be, be upgraded and updated. And that's almost a $2,000 upgrade that you're going to have to do just to refresh and make sure that the screen is working. So it's just got an older look and feel to it than the Model Y has. The Model Y has the newest, latest technology, the, the, you know, the latest chip processor. The screen works great in the Model Y. So that's another reason why you just get the latest technology, the latest firmware, the latest hardware with the Model Y if you're buying a brand new one. As far as the Model X is concerned, it has those Falcon doors that come up in the rear. Guys, they look awesome. Those doors are awesome. I mean, you go into the car wash, you pull up to the convenience store, you get out, you take the kids to school, you've got those doors pulling up, you feel like you, you know it's a Lamborghini door. I mean, that's awesome. It draws a lot of attention. It's super cool looking. But that's the extent of them, guys. They're not functional at all. I, I, I had the car, like I said, almost eight or nine months, okay? And then I had it in the Tesla shop at least four times, at least four times for Falcon door issues. The sensors would fall out. The sensors would not sense objects. I've got hit by the doors. It almost hit people uh, trying to get in or out of the doors. You've got to open this huge door just to get in and out. of Guys, it's not, it's not functional at all. Elon Musk says they're more functional than a minivan. It does look cool. That's the only thing it does better. So I did not like the Falcon doors, the functionality of it. It was just an inconvenience. You had to wait for this thing to go up and down. The doors on the Model Y are so much better. They have they have a manual releasing handle. It's not going to fail. There's no electronics in the door that are opening up on automatically. So that was awesome. And I, I can just see the reliability of the doors on the Model Y just being a lot better. The Falcon doors on the on the X are problematic they're buggy they just don't function correctly all the time and i can see as the car gets older and older it being more and more of a problem as far as the functionality goes okay one of the big probably one of the big issues is i i bought like i was telling you guys i'm going to reiterate this point because this was my situation now not everyone's situation is going to be the same as mine so i bought a 2016 model x five-year-old Luckily, it had some warranty on it, and it had a, like a year warranty from when I bought it. Now, I didn't buy it from Tesla. The guy I bought it from bought it from Tesla as like a certified pre-owned, and it had some warranty left on it, which I was grateful it had. There's just some pro there was some problems. That was the first year of the Model X, 2016. I had a drivetrain shutter. They had to replace the whole front motor and motor uh, mounts 
and the drive sh- and, and the axle shafts in the front because it was a very severe vibration in the front. So I had to get that fixed. It was in four or five times because of the uh, Falcon doors. I had issues with like the center console breaking. I had had the scroll wheel break. I just had a lot of like, it was probably in the shop like six or seven times in the eight or nine months that I owned it. And I was super glad I had a warranty on it because it was probably, it's probably five to $7,000 of warranty work that it got fixed on that thing. And luckily I, I didn't have to pay anything for it. And that was covered under the, the warranty that I had. So I was glad that I had that, but there was no way. After that experience, I'm like, there is no way I'm owning this car outside of warranty. There's no way. Uh, it just it just seems like it's really like kind of like a novelty type of a car. Uh, practicality, not very practical as far as like the doors were concerned. And I just felt like I didn't feel comfortable owning it outside of warranty. So that was one of the main reasons why I sold it. I wanted to get the newest, latest the Model Y that Tesla's offering, and I think that the Model Y is a better better vehicle, especially if, if they're about the same price. And in my case, they're, they're almost the exact same price. A 2016 Model X versus a 2022 Model Y. The Model Y, I think, is superior in almost every category besides the cool, flashy Falcon doors, when that's really all they are is flashy. They're not really functional. So the Model Y, yeah, it's a little bit smaller. You lose out a little bit on storage and maybe some leg room and the third row seat's a little bit better on the, the, the Model X. But if you're, if, you're not, if you're carrying around five people or less and that's all you have, the Model Y is gonna be perfect. The third row seats in both are gonna be cramped. The Model X is good, but the third row seat's just not gonna, it's just not practical using in the third row all the time, especially if you have to put car seats in the third row. It's, uh, third row car seats in either car are very very tricky and very very hard to use people like like complain about the model y and like how the uh, handling is and i think the handling is great like i i love the handling i don't i have no complaints about the handling yeah the model x had air suspension you could lift and lower up the air suspension and it had a little more cushier ride but i had the 22 inch wheels and so that pretty much negated it so it had to have air suspension or the ride would have been even harsher so I don't think the ride's any better in the Model Y versus X. Y, I think, is a little funner car to drive. It just feels lighter, it feels more nimble, it feels smaller, and it is it is smaller. So it's easier to park, it's easier to maneuver, it's easier to get in and out. If you have a low clearance garage, you're not, you don't have to worry about those Falcon doors like malfunctioning all the time like I had that. So I think the Y really is superior in the fact that it has, it's just more practical and the fact that you're getting the latest newest technology from tesla it's more efficient it's actually using a smaller battery and you're getting more range this has 326 miles of range my x could go 220 miles so it wasn't even like that extra 100 miles is a huge deal the y i think checks more boxes i think it's i think it's a superior vehicle when you're looking at like something in the mid to high sixty thousand dollar range so really the comparison is if you're looking at a used X versus a new Y, I think the new Y is the way to go. The Y just feels like it's a simpler car, that it's gonna be more reliable over time, and I'm getting a full warranty on it. You're buying a used Model X, 2016 or 17 or 18 or even, that's that's three, four, five years old, you have less warranty coverage on it. This has the eight year eight year battery battery warranty, it's got the drivetrain warranty, the bumper to bumper. So you have a little more control and you don't know how the other one's been charged. If the other one's been charged, like my the Model X I had that was a 2016, the guy I owned it before that, he did not plug it into his house at all. He supercharged it only all the time. And I, so I think that the degradation of the battery really happened when this last guy owned it. He owned it for about a year and he supercharged it almost every day because it had free supercharging on it. A lot of the older Tesla Model S's and X's that have free supercharging, that gets stripped off if it goes through a dealer or if it gets traded back to Tesla. So a lot of times the free supercharging doesn't transfer over. So I don't think it's worth buying an older car just for the free supercharging where it, because that may not actually have it and may not go away. Because the guy I bought it from, he's like, yeah, it's got free supercharging. I'm like, oh, cool. It's going to transfer to me. And it didn't. I was kind of bummed about that. That was actually a kind of a negative there. So thinking you're buying something that has a feature and it doesn't have it, is was kind of a bummer for us but that's my fault i guess for not doing my research properly but the guy had free supercharging and so he actually used it and i felt like kind of abused the car because when you're supercharging the car every single day for the charging it's just like it's hard on the battery pack
is do I miss the Model X versus the Y? And the answer really is no. Like this Model Y really f is a great replacement for the X, the older X. I'm very glad that I did. I just wish I'd have gotten it sooner because I sold my X the end of uh, 2021. And I didn't get this till August of 2022, so I had a big gap without a car. Um, but I also didn't want to miss the window to sell my X, so I'm glad that I did get rid of it when I did because I did get a, a very good price for it. And the market's kind of softened a little bit now. The interest rates are higher. So I feel I got a good price for it. Uh, it the, the Model Y, I think, is a very, very good and adequate replacement for an older X. I just think it's more efficient. It's funner to drive. It's easier to drive. It's smaller. It's not as glitchy. It's not going to have, I don't feel it's going to have as many problems. It's got a full warranty. list kind of goes on and on. But that those are the kind of things that I can tell you as a former Model X owner who now owns the Model Y. I really like uh, the Y, and I think that it's a, the better move. I think it's the better car when it comes to uh, comparing it to an older Model X. Tesla is going to continue to come out with better and better products as they improve, as they innovate, as technology, as batteries get better. The older ones are always going to be less desirable than the newer ones. And right now, it seems like the end of 2022, you can get a model y pretty quickly especially if you go with the performance version i think that you could probably get that pretty quickly before like over the summer it was just so much harder to get these it was such a longer wait to order a new y that it forced a lot of people to look at like a used x or a used s or something that you know they get quicker guys so that's kind of my those are just kind of some of my thoughts on why i think the model y is the better car it it is for me and I want to share that with you because I do get asked, I've gotten asked several times, well, which one do you like better? Which one you choose? That's model, And it really is Model Y all day long. A 2022 Model Y long range, I think is a better car than a 2016 Tesla Model X 90D. That's what I had. I think it's better. Now, anyways, guys, hopefully you found that interesting or helpful or entertaining. Leave down below in the comments kind of your thoughts about Model X, older Model X versus new Model Y curious to see what other people think because um, I've, I've owned both I feel I can speak to both and I'm very glad that I got rid of the X when I did and got the new Model Y because I think it's a better vehicle anyways guys well thanks for watching the video hit that thumbs up button subscribe and we'll see you in the next one thanks